For centuries, the narrow Strait of Malacca has been a critical maritime choke point. Over a third of global trade passes through this crowded waterway each year. Now, in an ambitious $28 billion infrastructure move, Thailand has revived plans to excavate a canal across its narrow southern isthmus. This Thai canal could transform global shipping routes, bolster economies, and reshape geopolitical tensions. Let's explore this audacious mega project with the potential to move mountains and oceans. Every year, nearly a million vessels transit the Strait of Malacca, one of the world's most critical maritime bottlenecks. Located between Malaysia and Indonesia, the strait offers the quickest route for shipments of oil, commodities, and manufactured goods between the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. Its geographic significance cannot be overstated. At its narrowest point, the Malacca Strait experiences frequent traffic jams, collisions, and accidents. Over 25% of global shipping traffic squeezes through its confined waters daily, making it one of the most congested shipping lanes on the planet. Carrying over a quarter of the world's maritime trade, a closure of the strait for even a day could severely disrupt global supply chains. Piracy and overlapping territorial claims also add further risks along this vital trade artery. The strait's narrow channels and heavy traffic make it a prime target for pirates, smugglers, and militant groups to prey upon commercial vessels. Over the past decades, the Strait of Malacca has gained notoriety as one of the most dangerous piracy hotspots. Meanwhile, competing claims over islands and maritime boundaries by Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore raise diplomatic tensions. China especially relies on the Malacca Strait as a strategic lifeline, with over 80% of its foreign oil and energy supplies transiting the narrow waterway. In the event of a military conflict, a blockade of the strait by the U.S. Navy and its allies could cripple China's economy and industry by severing energy imports. For this vulnerability, Beijing has long sought alternative maritime routes insulated from such potential geopolitical chokeholds on its energy security. Thailand may have found a solution to bypass the Malacca Strait entirely. A 75-mile canal cutting across its narrow craw isthmus. This tantalizing megaproject would create a brand new shortcut between the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea, dramatically altering global maritime trading routes. The idea of a Thai canal was first proposed over 300 years ago, in 1677, by King Narai the Great of the Ayutthaya Kingdom. Narai envisioned harnessing his kingdom's unique geography as an isthmus between two oceans to become a hub of maritime commerce. However, the proposal was dismissed as far too impractical and technically infeasible, given the engineering limitations at the time. Various revised proposals and even some initial construction were sporadically attempted over the following centuries by Thai royalty and foreign colonial powers like Britain and France. However, the conflicting geopolitical interests between the great powers over such a strategically valuable potential shipping lane ultimately scuttled progress on any canal plans. After decades of stalemate, renewed vigor behind the Thai Canal concept emerged in the 21st century from an unexpected champion, China. As part of its Belt and Road Global Infrastructure Initiative, Beijing began courting Thai partners and expressing its willingness to fully fund the multi-billion dollar construction costs. China saw immense economic and security value in establishing an alternate maritime route to the Pacific and Indian Oceans that bypassed potential U.S. naval checkpoints or blockades. In 2015, a consortium of Thai and Chinese developers finally signed an agreement to jointly construct the Kra Canal, as it became known. Specific plans call for dredging a 475-foot-wide, 85-foot-deep shipping channel across Thailand's narrowest 75-mile stretch between the Andaman Sea and Gulf of Thailand. The seismic canal would be wide enough to accommodate two-way traffic from even the largest freight and petroleum tankers. 
If the Kra Canal is successfully constructed, the potential economic windfall for Thailand and Southeast Asia could be transformative on a global scale. The primary catalyst would be drastically reduced maritime travel distances and shipping costs compared to the present Malacca Strait route. By establishing a new shortcut between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, ships could slash voyage distances by well over 1,000 miles. This would enable shaving at least three full days off maritime journeys. Such significant time savings in the freight industry directly translate into reduced operating costs for shipping companies. Analysts project a typical crude oil tanker making the Indian Ocean to Pacific voyage could save up to $350,000 per trip just from reduced fuel expenditures by bypassing the Malacca Strait's longer route. For cargo behemoths running dozens of transoceanic voyages weekly, those savings opportunity rapidly accumulate into the billions annually on a global industry scale. Beyond just shipping costs, the Craw Canal itself could blossom into an immensely profitable generator of toll revenues, employment, and economic development for Thailand. Thai officials project over 100,000 jobs would be directly created by canal construction, while hundreds of thousands more in supporting industries could follow. The nation's rural and economically underdeveloped southern provinces would experience an enormous influx of investment for infrastructure like railways, highways, pipelines, logistics hubs, and port facilities to support the new maritime superhighway. Government planners believe the Craw Canal and associated development could directly generate a staggering $30 to $35 billion annually for Thailand's economy within a couple decades after opening. Economists also forecast a cascade effect, where increased shipping traffic drawn to the Thai Isthmus propels economic integration and opportunity throughout the Andaman region. Nations like Myanmar, Malaysia, and Indonesia on the Strait of Malacca's periphery could leverage its proximity to the canal as a new maritime crossroads for industries like shipbuilding and logistics. For Thailand and its neighbors, realizing this vision of an isthmus of the Kra Canal could ultimately be a generational source of sustainable economic growth and elevated global stature. While the potential economic rewards are staggering, constructing the Thai Canal faces steep environmental and geopolitical hurdles. Massive excavation would be required to cut a channel across 75 miles of Thailand's mountainous terrain. This would displace over 30,000 people from rural farming and fishing villages along the canal's path. Around 25,000 acres of forests would be stripped away, permanently damaging ecosystems. Dredging operations would also decimate coastal marine marine environments in the Andaman Sea and Gulf of Thailand. Environmentalists warn of catastrophic impacts on delicate mangrove forests, coral reefs, and marine wildlife habitats. Thailand also struggles with a long-simmering separatist insurgency from Malay Muslims in its southern provinces near the proposed canal. Building an artificial barrier between the insurgents and the rest of Thailand risks inflaming tensions and demanding an independent state. The Thai government fears the canal could enable increased weapons smuggling and extremist movements in the strategic region. On the world stage, the proposed canal appears to be exacerbating geopolitical rivalries and security dilemmas between global powers. The United States sees the canal and Chinese funding as an attempt by Beijing to outflank strategic maritime checkpoints policed by U.S. allies like Singapore. An alternate shipping lane reduces U.S. leverage and potentially allows China to project naval force into the Indian Ocean. India has also expressed reservations over a canal boosting boosting Beijing's sway in the Andaman Sea. Already wary of encirclement from China's String of Pearls maritime outposts, the canal risks expanding Beijing's naval presence into a region India considers its sphere of influence. Facing mounting criticism, the Thai government appears to be tapping the brakes on moving forward with the canal project anytime soon. After a parliamentary study in 2020, the Thai legislature determined the ecological disruption, indigenous displacement, separatist risks, and financial shortfalls likely outweighed the economic benefits. 
However, Thailand still harbors ambitions to become a regional hub connecting the Indian Ocean and Pacific through overland infrastructure. In late 2023, the government announced plans for an alternative mega project, a $28 billion strategic land bridge across the Isthmus of Kra. Proposals include dual deep water ports on both coastlines linked by new rail lines, highways, and pipelines traversing the 75 mile wide Isthmus. This land bridge if constructed, could generate over 280,000 jobs for Thailand while offering a more environmentally friendly trade route than a canal. Overland infrastructure also wouldn't physically divide southern provinces and exacerbate separatist tensions. With China's enthusiasm for the canal project waning after securing alternate energy routes, Thailand may opt for the land bridge concept to become a continental crossroads of trade. Regardless of whether the canal or land bridge gets greenlit, Thailand has ambitions to alter global maritime trading patterns. The proposed routes traverse the Malacca Dilemma geography that has defined world naval strategy for centuries. By offering shortcuts connecting the Pacific and Indian Oceans, Thailand positions itself as a 21st century nexus of world trade. While navigating political tensions, the immense economic incentives driving Thailand's mega-project ambitions are hard to ignore. A canal or terrestrial bridge would accelerate integration between previously disconnected markets across Asia and and result in billions of dollars in cost savings for shipping companies. Thailand and China appear determined to redraw global supply chain maps with or without the support of the US and its regional allies. Although critics condemn the project's severe environmental impacts, supporters argue mega infrastructure is necessary to uplift developing nations. Like China's own slate of dams, bridges and railways reshaping its borders, Thailand aims to leverage its strategic geography to fuel national development. The world will witness whether this small nation can pull off feats of engineering to match its grand vision. If successful, a Thai canal or land trade bridge could well become the nation's crowning glory, a modern mega monument redefining commercial pathways for the 21st century.